can start. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Tomasz Schweiger uh, from Collabora. So, uh, and I will present you about uh, the do document teams. Uh, this is something that I was working on for quite some time lately. So, first off, what are the document teams? Yes, this is uh, if you want to create a. a, a more diverse documents, uh, you can use the teams uh, and the teams have an um, influence on the colors and fonts and there's also effects which are uh, mostly for shapes. And yes, let's say you can quickly change the document uh, design by just changing the teams and this is uh, very nice. So. More exactly, what are included inside the document teams? So we have team colors, uh, then team fonts, uh, which are usually uh, you can define what is a heading font and what is just a body font. Uh, and there are also inside the teams uh, you can define like uh, um, fonts for. Uh, exactly uh, the language you want. So if a team wants uh, a language specifically for Japanese or any, any uh, Slovenian or you know, English or you can sp specify that uh, exact font uh, there. So as I said there is also a team format scheme and this is like uh, applicable for shapes uh, you can uh, specify various uh, line properties and fill properties around it and what is the background and if there are some effects uh, like a shadow or blur uh, and uh, they kind of rem uh, remind me of uh, like what we have uh, like uh, drawing styles or shape styles and I think that uh, this is mainly because Microsoft Office doesn't have something like this and they just use the uh, teams for that. But I think yeah, we have to sooner or later also support this. So a little bit more uh, about uh, the colors exactly, because uh, the support that I implemented are mostly just the colors. Uh, so. When you are defining a team, you have uh, dark colors, you have two choices of them, and this is a light color, two choice, and then you have accent colors, uh, six of them, and you have a like, hyperlink color and a like followed hyperlink color, and I'm not just to really exactly how if this is uh, very um, useful, but uh, Microsoft Office defines them, so we have to do it also. So, one neat feature about this, maybe I can uh, explain here, is like we have dark colors, white dark colors, and white light colors. Uh, I think that in uh, Microsoft Office you can have, uh, for example, a dark color which is a text color and a light color, which is usually the background color. But if you are changing uh, to have, uh, for example, uh, that you want uh, the dark mode, so background will be dark and uh, text will be light color. So in this case, it will automatically switch between them. Yes. Uh, and if you have team, this is nice uh, to define because currently we are for the only thing that this can be done automatically is mostly we, if you are specifying the color as automatic and then depending on the background it will uh, change uh, the text color uh, which is uh, uh, quite uh, problematic. Uh, so, uh, additional to the colors, there are like color transformations and uh, on top of that. Uh, so, you can have a like a 
tint or shade color, you can change the luminance, uh, the saturation and many, many more uh, transformations that are uh, defined for the colors. And uh, usually uh, when you are specifying a color, you select, for example, uh, accent one color and then you say in addition what is this, uh, what is the color transformation and uh, in, I think in Writer this, and, uh, all of these transformations are supported but not so in Excel and in Impress which only supports uh, tinting and shading um, or luminance modulation and uh, luminance uh, offset. Um, more about it maybe later. So about uh, support inside LibreOffice, yes. There was like, what is the work done before this? I, there was like 2015, I was a LibreOffice conference in Denmark. I, I gave a presentation, I was like exa excited about uh, the teams, even at that time. Uh, and I created a mock-up uh, mock for which wasn't really uh, supporting the teams, uh, but uh, what it did is change the colors only. And um, then I presented this in the, at the conference. It was quite ex excited, uh, but then nothing happened for this was eight years ago and until now. <laughs> Uh, then uh, we, there was um, Miklos uh, needed to implement, uh, had a task to implement uh, team colors, at least the basic support inside uh, uh, Impress, and but uh, uh, when he started it, it, he didn't have a lot of time, so it was quite. Uh, just to have something, uh, so um, he did a little bit of groundwork and uh, this was it. Uh, one speci speciality is like uh, in Impress because uh, there is a team per master's, master slide which is then inside uh, LibreOffice, a master page. Uh, this is a, a problem currently uh, because we don't... Uh, uh, master page uh, is a little bit more specific than uh, just a master slide, which uh, has a, a lot of these uh, uh, designs, uh, I mean, uh, how is it called in uh, uh, Microsoft Office, uh, like sh sch schemes for each uh, slide uh, itself uh, and this is not so uh, good if we are uh, doing it just per master page, but okay, we did something about it and it was working. So the first thing that I had to do is like the groundwork. Of course, we had like oh, XML import and export for the teams, uh, but what we had before is we just put every every like this uh, uh, property inside the grab bag and just transported it from import to the export, so that we preserved the team, that we preserved the colors, and uh, when we are saving and loading the documents. But this is, of course, this is not uh, the great idea. We want to use the teams uh, and change them and add them and, and this was not yet done. So I had to remove all this grab bag stuff and probably imp implement the teams uh, reading and writing inside the and uh, storing everything inside the document model. And this is quite some work to do. I mean the whole uh, team support is quite some work. Uh, and it's still not finished. So some of the existing structure were just similar, but we just have to 
uh, map them inside uh, what we have in document model. Uh, yes, and the team export, this is just the team uh, itself, uh, had to be written from scratch and just uh, what it was in grab back, this, this had to be just uh, removed. Um, so, what I added next is like this is the document model for the team, each team, uh, the collection. Yes, uh, this is holding uh, inside the document model, and it's uh, like a collection of teams uh, which needed. Uh, so, we can choose uh, a new team or a team for your document uh, and change it. Yeah. Uh, it should be user extendable, but this uh, currently it's not. We have just uh, hard coded a couple of teams, um, and but uh, in the future I think uh, we can add this. So the next was refactoring uh, of the UNO. So. You can imagine every every color that uh, pro color property in a, you know now needs to be changed because you don't have just the color you have to store additional information for the teams and um, every color team color property uh, had to added a new color team property uh, I think which is now uh, color complex. Uh, complex color property. Uh, why complex color? It's because we wanted to uh, we want to add not just teams but uh, everything that is uh, supported by OXML. Uh, this is in, uh, OXML has more than just a team, but you can also, uh, as I said before, like these color transformations, uh, which are not only applicable for uh, for a team. You can apply them for normal colors as well. Um, and yeah, they're like this. Uh, you can use uh, different uh, re representations to, uh, for the color. So this is like RGB or HSL uh, color space, uh, which is also supported inside the complex color. Mm. Um, yeah. So the next then is. Uh, we have to extend it. Uh, so, we, uh, first one was uh, we did, uh, well, I did uh, add support inside Brighter. There is, we are storing in Brighter, we are storing this inside uh, just quite a SDR model. Um, we say which team is currently used, and uh, if there is no team uh, imported when you create a document, it will create a default team. Um, by the uh, when, when it's created. So then I change it so that uh, text colors and field colors can be uh, mapped to a, a team. Uh, this also includes underline and overline colors. And this is like the lines. And uh, you can ch also change the page background color and then uh, the border colors. Uh, are also supported. Uh, previously, there was also uh, already implemented inside uh, support for imp from Impress, uh, which uh, changed the shapes. So this is also just reusing uh, that implementation and changing it so it works uh, as expected. And then, of course. Uh, Every style uh, that is defined uh, and it's, uh, it, it can define, uh, for example, a color, and this also needs to be uh, supported. Uh, next was then teams uh, in Calc. Similar, uh, like in Brighter, we have uh, we are storing the team inside SDR model, which is one team per sheet uh, document. Not sheet, uh, the whole document, and here we can change uh, the text color for the cell, cell background color and sparkline color. Oh, all sparkline defines. 
eight different colors, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Not, uh, uh, so all the sparkling colors can be have uh, support for the team colors. And then, of course, uh, cell styles can also be uh, are also supported where, where the, uh, in inside cell styles you can change like this cell text color and uh, background color like here. So this is uh, uh, how how it looks like for spark lines. You can do three different themes and you can change them just by changing the uh, team color. So lastly, because uh, I, there was a lot of things uh, changed uh, during the implementation, we also have to change it inside Impress. Um, so as I said, uh, inside Impress, the big change is that we don't have only one team uh, per uh, one team per uh, whole document, but uh, it's defined on the master slide. And yes, as I say, uh, I, I already explained previously, there is an issue when you have master slide. Ah. One master slide has multiple layouts, and this is different how we implement currently master pages inside LibreOffice, where you only have master pages, uh, and each layout is then mapped to master pages. So this is annoying because for the user, it ex expect if it change the team, and the whole uh, presentation will change. But if you have uh, specified in, inside master pages, he will have to go each master page and change the team there. So currently, uh, I then uh, recently changed this so that all master pages will be, for now, uh, cha will change the team, uh, not just uh, one master page. And later, we, when we have proper support for uh, these master slide and layouts, we can change this. Uh, so um, inside Impress, I, uh, what is support is, of course, text color again and background color. And then, of course, uh, what is missing lately is the drawing styles. These were not supported, and I had to add it. Uh, uh, and, mm, this now changing the uh, teams inside Impress looks something like this. Um, when you have three different uh, teams, automatically change the colors of them. Yeah. So I want to talk a little bit uh, what happens when uh, when we change the color. So. Uh, we have uh, like this uh, team color changer class uh, for each uh, inside impress, inside the writer, and inside calc. We just goes and changes, uh, goes through the whole model and changes, lo looks for colors and changes the colors depending on how the definition of uh, the uh, team color or complex color has inside. Uh, and then, of course, it automatically applies the transformations. Uh, and then stores the color uh, back inside the property uh, so it can be then used. There, there's a lot, some issues here because for every this change you have to also think about uh, undo redo which can be quite interesting and uh, it also needs to remember which team has changed and you have to add this to into under, under redo stack and uh, support this. So on the UI, uh, uh, as I said like this eight years ago, I, just, I already created, uh, I was already experimenting with the teams. And at that time I created a sidebar that has like this design sidebar that has uh, teams. Uh, now I change this that it properly supports the teams uh, inside the sidebar. Uh, in addition, I added the dialogue. Uh, 
and inside this dialogue uh, you can change the team uh, to from from one to another so this team dialogue is like here now if you see here you can see that there is two times LibreOffice team uh, this is something that can be improved. The reason for this is that first, on the first page, uh, first uh, uh, in the first place, uh, it's always the team that is already inside the document currently, and then because we have the uh, inside the uh, like these presets, also name a LibreOffice team. Uh, it's they are written twice, yeah. So all, all the all the others are just what are the preset uh, teams inside uh, LibreOffice. So. And yeah, in, in this uh, you can also add uh, and you can add a new team, which will then add uh, be added to inside this um, dialog, but. Uh, as long if if you are using it inside the document, then it's fine. But if not, it I think it will be lost currently when you are going uh, uh, out of uh, LibreOffice. So one big thing that also needed uh, changing is that uh, is the color picker. So. Every, everywhere we have a color picker, now we have a, a choice for the, these uh, team colors inside the dropdown. And uh, you will get something like this. Uh, it will check the, what is the current uh, team and it will create the color variations. So on the top, top row there is just uh, the team colors and uh, at the bottom there are uh, team, the, the same team colors but with transformations added uh, the same like um, inside Microsoft Office so that this should be the same here as it is inside Microsoft Office. Okay, the to do. So as I said there is not every color property supported yet and there's quite a lot that is still missing. Uh, I, in the time I had, I couldn't change everything, so we will go and add one by one uh, uh, until we have everything supported. So next is also support for inside gradients. We, uh, so currently we only uh, support solid colors, but inside gradients we have uh, multiple colors and with uh, the multicolor uh, multi stop color gradients uh, we need to store like this team colors for every uh, stop color stop and uh, this is something that we need to uh, do in the future uh, what is also omitted is like a chart support for team colors uh, i didn't do anything there so this is uh, currently unsupported uh, uh, completely unsupported, um, but uh, I think that chart, charts, uh, the, where this would be very useful is exactly in such charts, so let's hope that uh, we can also add it here. And then what was also omitted is completely the team fonts and the format uh, scheme. Uh, we support importing and exporting OXML, and uh, so this at least this is supported. But everything else we have to implement it. So this is all I had. So thank you.